Hey Pisces, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for January 28th to February the 3rd. And as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you would like to. I have a bit of a croaky voice because I'm a bit tired, so you just have to bear with me. I'm sorry about that. The other thing is I've had um, some people comment on uh, the fact that um, these readings have been very quiet and other people have said it's fine, so I don't know. But um, I think if there is any problem, I think it might be an attachment between my camera and my microphone. So I've ordered a new one. Uh, it's not here yet, but until it arrives, I'm just going to have to be as loud as I possibly can. Hopefully you'll be able to hear this. So I won't say any more because I know uh, these long introductions are boring. I think they are anyway. So I'm just going to start your reading for Pisces. So. The first card you have for your past is the Empress. So, you know, the Empress is obviously a mother. She gives birth to things, and I think she gives birth to creativity. She gives birth to things that are creative. And so I'm seeing a lot of, well, birth is the ultimate creation. So, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of creativity in this card. That's what I'm saying. Um, I know that's a long-winded way of saying that, but that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. I think, you know, you're always a very creative person. I always see you as someone who's very, very creative. And I think you like to do interesting things. You like to make interesting things. And I think you might have been especially creative at this time. It was almost, the creativity was almost bursting out of you at this time. I'm actually seeing you coming up with a lot of different ideas at this time. Um, I'm not sure if you had a so-called normal job or if you didn't or whatever, if you had your own business or not, I don't know. But I'm seeing a lot of creative business kind of ideas, um, ideas or ideas that could be made into a business um, coming from you at this time. And I think some of these ideas are really, really, really quite amazing. Um, very unusual. Um, I'm seeing one specific thing. Uh, it might be something, it might be something environmental, something to do with the environment or nature or being outside or something green, uh, something like that, plants or something. But um, if you haven't done anything with these ideas, please start doing something with them. I mean, because I, I'm seeing that these are really fantastic ideas. So don't just let them disappear into an old pile of paper somewhere especially this main idea, this kind of environmental idea that I'm seeing. So if this all resonates with you and uh, you, you, you have been having all of these ideas come to you, um, do something like set out a timeline for yourself if you can. Set out different tasks that you want to have finished by different dates or something like that. Get something started, get something happening. I mean, I know it sounds like I'm your boss or something bossing you around. I don't mean to boss you around, but um, I just want to see you really do this. I want to see you really achieve this, really, really doing something with this. I mean, so many people have ideas, but very few um, ever do anything about it. So please don't be one of those people. Be someone who does something about their ideas, if this is all resonating with you. The next card you have your past is the Knight of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is about this again. Um, you know, ideas, um, the idea part of a business or imagining uh, fantastic new products or services or whatever this is, that's the fun part. That's the fun part of this whole process. And you know this. Uh, this might be why you're stuck at this stage because you, you like being in the fun part. And um, the development of a product um, or, you know, the grind that goes into um, that product or that business, that's the boring part. But this is the part that's going to make things happen. Nothing else is. It's only going to be hard work and persistence and perseverance that's going to make this thing happen. Like this night, you know, he's working on whatever he's working on. He's working very slowly, he's working very steadily, and he looks as if he's not moving at all. He is moving, but he's the kind of knight that goes slowly, he pays attention to detail, and you know he looks a bit slow and boring, but he gets things done, and he makes sure that things are done properly. So 
if you're not the kind of person who has the patience to see this business idea through, the boring bits through, you might want to partner up with someone else uh, or get together with someone who's patient and steady, someone who you can trust, someone who's going to take over the bits that you feel that you can't do or that you know that you don't have the patience to do. So if this is resonating again, find someone like that. Do what you can to get this out, to get this done. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have for your past is the Eight of Wands. So, yeah, I think I think there might have been someone who was um, really interested in you, really interested in you uh, romantically, actually. And I think they probably still are. Um, they're extremely interested. They're extremely enthusiastic. Um about contacting you definitely um i'm seeing a lot of messages a lot of text messages coming from them uh, to you and you know i think if they could they'd message you even more this is what holding back looks like to this person so um you know but these ones that look a bit like arrows they're only traveling in one direction so there isn't anything coming from the other direction there there isn't a lot of communication coming from you to them it's all coming from them to you. So you might have been in communication with them. You might have said a few little things to them. But they were the, the enthusiastic one. They were the ones chasing you, definitely. Um, and deep down, I think they must have known that you, know, you weren't as interested in them. Obviously, if you're not keeping up much communication, you might be saying a few things, but not a lot. And they're doing all the communication and all the chasing. Obviously, they're more interested in you. But... I think that didn't stop them. I think they just wanted to keep on trying and keep on going and keep on pursuing. Um, you know, if this resonates, I hope you're being straightforward with them. You know, if you weren't interested, I hope you were saying that in a kind way, obviously. Um, because I really feel for them. They really, you know, someone who's that persistent obviously really, really feels something very deeply and they want to keep connecting, connecting, even if you're not really giving them much to go on they want to keep trying so I do really feel for them and I really hope that you um, have said something to them one way or the other so yeah the first card you have for your present is the five of cups um, so there might be a few reasons why um, you weren't interested in this person in the eight of wands um, I think they might have been a little bit younger than you, maybe uh, they weren't quite as mature as you, um, but I think that uh, you might also be missing someone else actually. You're not all that upset, you're not as upset as the man on this card. You might have been once, um, maybe when you first separated from this person, but you're not now. Um, but you still have a link to this person. It's still there. You know, it's not as strong as it was, but it's still there. I mean, I'm not seeing you contacting this person. I'm not seeing you, you know, you probably don't want to look as if you're needy or that you're bothering them. And I think you have tried to concentrate on other things. You might have even tried to date other people. But the connection with this other person is still there. It's not going away. I think you might connect with this person again at some time probably um you know maybe just as friends uh it might or it might not turn into more than friends later on but um in the beginning uh, i think it is just going to be friends but yes you have tried you know you've tried to feel that same connection with other people you've looked for it but um it just hasn't been the same with other people and uh you know, that doesn't mean you never will. You might end up with someone else. You might end up with this person. Uh, their friendship might eventually turn into love or you might find someone else uh, who you really do connect with. Uh, but you haven't so far. You haven't been able to connect with anyone else so far. And so that's why you still have this kind of, these thoughts about this person and this connection with this other person. So the next card you have for your present is the Four of Swords. Um, so yeah, I think that this could be how this person in the Eight of Wands is seeing you. Uh, you know, they're jumping up and down, making your phone ping all the time, every five minutes, blowing up your phone all the time. But to them, uh, you're very quiet, which you are. And, you know, you're not doing uh, or saying much at all. 
like this statue. So they think that you're like a statue. <laughs> you're not doing anything. But again, um, you know, if you haven't said anything to them, if you haven't told them that you're not interested in a relationship with them, please, please tell them that. You know, I and you know maybe you've already told them because I can see that you know they're just very, very persistent. And you know maybe no matter what you do, they keep on pursuing you. I don't know, but um, they need. I mean, you need a break from all this, but they do too. They need a break from this. They need a break from this intensity as well. This intense chasing. Because while they're chasing you, um, they're not able to meet someone who's right for them either. And they must be exhausted anyway. I mean, they must be very, very exhausted in, to keep up this kind of pace of pursuing and texting and saying this and saying that and all day long. Are you okay? How are you today? La, 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 la. Good morning. Good night. Um, it's just too much. So they must be exhausted. Um, but, yeah, they need a break from this. But, you know, I'm still seeing that they're going to keep on going, actually. They'll probably give up eventually. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're going to keep it. They're very, very, very persistent. The last card you have for your present is the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, I think you definitely prefer to be single, um, like the Queen of Swords. Uh, some people say she's a widow. Some people say she's just a single woman. Um, and, yeah, you'd rather be single to, than to be with someone who you don't feel an intense and real connection with. Um, you know, like this queen, you've been through a lot in your life and you know exactly who you want around you and who you don't. Um, if you have someone around you who you don't want, you're not cruel, you're not nasty, um, you, you just talk to them, but you're very clear about it. You're kind, but you're clear. And um, so that tells me that you probably have said something to this person, maybe even several times. Um, I'm also seeing you having to yeah, I'm seeing you having to tell someone the truth, um, having to be very honest um, with someone, maybe even painfully honest, um, to get your point across to them. Because I think whoever this is, if you tried to hint with them, they wouldn't take a hint. So you have to be, uh, or you're having to be very, very uh, yeah, painfully honest with this person. Um, I'm actually seeing a family member, and I think... Um, this person might be involving themselves in something that they really shouldn't be involving themselves in. I think, um, yeah, I think this person likes to get involved, get themselves involved into other people's business, actually, um, sometimes. But I think at this time, this time, this thing that they're involved in, uh, they've really gone a bit too far, and that's what you can see. Um, I'm actually seeing you trying to protect someone from them, if that makes sense to you. Uh, this is someone who might actually be a bit vulnerable in some way. So, you know, you're not normally like this. You don't usually like confrontation. But I think this is something that uh, really, really needs to be said, something that you think needs to be done. And, um, you know, I'm really glad that you are saying this to this person, if this is resonating with you. Um, they're not going to like what you have to say. They might even be angry with you. But um, it's going to work. It's going to make them stop and think. And um, I hope it makes them stop and think next time as well. Um, because this person is gossiping. I'm seeing that. This person is gossiping about this poor, vulnerable person. And they're using this person to kind of talk about them and say oh look at me I know this information I know this gossip and I really can't bear that kind of thing um, so yeah I'm really really glad you are um, the one who's standing up to this person the first card you have for your future is the fool so yeah again I'm still seeing all of these ideas that are in your mind in your head the fool can be a little bit uh, people think of him as a fool but he's a genius actually he can be a genius um, yeah, he's called the fool, but that's because he isn't afraid to do things that are outside of the established, outside of, you know, established society. And um, he's outside of what the mainstream thinks is normal. And that makes me think of Einstein. Einstein was labelled a fool as a child, but obviously he's a genius. He's, he's the opposite of a fool. But he was called a fool because he thought in a new way, in a different way. And I think these ideas that you have, especially this one main idea that I'm seeing, 
really should go out into the world. But you know, as I was seeing before, they need to be channeled, they need to be pushed in the right direction. And I think you might actually need someone to help you with this. There's no point in having a good idea if it's never made or produced or if nobody ever sees it. And again, if this resonates, yeah, see if someone can help you with this. See if someone can help you with the parts of this process that you might not be able to do yourself. Again, partner up with someone. Because the fool, look at this fool, he needs his dog. His dog is directing him. His dog is showing him where to go. Or he'll jump off a cliff. This dog's stopping him. Don't jump off that cliff. Stop, stop. So it's like a guide for him. So that's what you need. You need a guide to help you and show you where to go. And so you can do your part. Someone else can do their part. Um, yeah, obviously you're not going to jump off a cliff. But I think this idea or these ideas need purpose. They need direction. And I think you need to find someone who can help you to do that, to find that direction. So the next card you have for your future is the Seven of Wands. Um, so yeah, this is a battle between you and a whole lot of people. Um, and this is showing me that, yeah, you're a creative person. You are different, like the Fool. You think differently and you see the world differently than a lot of other people do. And I think you always have. Um, and I think that in the past you might have felt a bit alone, uh, battling against people who were happy to uh, conform, be the same as everyone else, and you weren't, you were very different. But now I think you realise that, you know, it's better to be called the fool, uh, like Einstein, than uh, the narrow-minded people who called him a fool. I mean, there was an actual teacher who called him a fool, because I think... When he was growing up, when he was in the classroom, obviously he was brilliant and he was bored and he used to kind of mess around. He used to do things like bring owls into the classroom and do all sorts of, bring all sorts of animals into the classroom. And he didn't speak for a long time and people thought he wasn't able to speak and he could speak, but he was just so bored that he tried to challenge himself and see if he could do all the things without speaking and yeah, all of that kind of thing. So. His teachers said, oh, you're a fool, you're stupid, you're a bit backward. And obviously, um, the opposite was true. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that makes me think of one of the quotes of Einstein, which is something like, I'm probably getting it wrong, but he said something like, imagination is everything, or imagination is more important than knowledge. Because knowledge is really just, well, not knowledge, but you know, there's remembering things, there's getting information and remembering information, and then that, then there's creating your own um, information, which is what imagination is, and that's what you're doing. So anyway, I won't go on about that, but yeah, do something with your ideas, put them out into the world, um, and that's all I'll say about that. So the last card you have for your future is the Eight of Swords. So I think... Yeah, I think this vulnerable person that I've seen, the Queen of Swords, who's this kind of victim of this gossiping person, um, I think they might need someone to talk to at this time. I think they might need someone who isn't going to judge them or gossip about them. I don't think they have many or even any people around them who uh, are good people to talk to. Um, I'm actually seeing a young woman or maybe a teenager and she has a lot of problems and I think you'd be the perfect person to speak to her and listen to her. Definitely listening. Listening is important because I think she needs someone who's going to listen. Listen to her side of things. And um, because I'm still seeing all these judgmental people around her, especially this gossiping person. And I think she needs someone to be on her side. Or at least someone who tries to listen and be on her side and tries to understand her. And so if this resonates and you know who this is, um, please reach out, please speak to her. She needs someone and uh, that person is you. You've already uh, stood up for her at one time and she's seen that, I think. And I think you would be the perfect person to speak to her if this is resonating with you. So Pisces, I hope this resonated. Um, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone, but again, if you like this reading, uh, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment if you would like to only, if you'd like to. 
Um, and thank you so much for watching.